Okay, hi everybody. Um, this is another video on how to make these little guys. I've had a lot of <laughs> comments on my, on the one video that Google insists on showing the world. I've made better videos. I know that one video is a bad video, but Google insists on showing it to everybody and none of my other videos. But a lot of the comments have been too fast, no explanation. How do I stop them tearing? all these questions about how it's done. I don't really have a good answer. Um, I'm just gonna slowly show you how to make one. So rather than speeding it up, um, there's no trick to it. I just get a normal roll. I've done this with rolls around the world, in Thailand, in Mexico, and here in England. Um, some of them are different thicknesses, some are different sizes, but they all work. Um, I've had like thinner tubes, fatter tubes. It works with all of them, no difference. Um, you've just got to be sort of forceful um, and, I don't know, you just get on with it. I'll, I'll make this one slowly. I'll try and make one. I'll just go make it up as I go along. So, generally, I'm, I, I kind of think about what direction I want to go in. There's, you can't really have a solid idea of what you're making because they all end up slightly different. But, like, you could decide early on whether you want... Um, a fat brow or a short brow or a fat nose or a short nose. If you want to do something crazy with the mouth, it's better to have a shorter nose so you've got more space to bend with the mouth. But that just sort of just comes with practice. There's no real answer to that. So with this one, let's go for a short brow. So I'm just going to squish the whole thing up like this. And you choose an angle that you want the brow to be on. So let's put it on an angle there. And the brow I always do like a double fold like this. A nice double fold in there. See what I've done there? Fold it forward, then a little bit down, fold it back. Now depending on how big this fold is, it's going to determine how deep the brow is. There's a limit to how deep it can be really because of the way that the cardboard bends, but um but that'll affect like how how the eyebrow or the eye area. You know, how, how much shading it has or how much depth it has there. Then I, I bend these and then I sort of put it back. You sort of have sort of marker um, so later on it will bend, it'll all come together a bit better. So now let's do the nose. So let's say we're having sort of a, a triangle outward nose. So I'm going to fold this. We've got the middle here. I'm going to come in a bit and fold it here. And then fold it here, so it's kind of going outwards, you see. Small at the top, big at the bottom. That's the shape of the nose that I'm making. And we've still got the brow on top here. And the nose, we're kind of doing the same thing as we did with the brow. You want it to, to fold in and under. So, let's see what I'm doing here. And you see, I'm just being forceful with it. I use my whole fingers underneath to give it good support. My fingers are touching inside and I'm pushing and pinching the card and then folding it over. And you're just forceful with it. Sometimes they tear. You, you get good at not tearing it just, just through practice, I guess. And you can see like on this, it's kind of gone slightly over to one side more than the other. It doesn't really matter. These folds on the edges sort of just help to produce the thing. The, the, most of the folds disappear once you're done really. So I've got my nose there. You see sort of the depth of it. You see the shape of what's going on here. That's gonna be my nose. So if we keep that keep the nose folded in and give it a good flatten. Again, that, that helps a bit sometimes, especially when you've sort of got off center. So we've got it nice and in there. Like sometimes it's easier to do the nose first, then the brow. Sometimes I do the brow first. I never really think about it that much. So let's just get that in there. And like, so we've got the nose, we've got the whole thing flattened. And I'm just gonna crease the brow back into here. See that? Bring it back in. So we've got the crease of the brow and the crease of the nose. 
and the nose goes up into the brow. I don't really worry about that. We can sort that out later if we don't want it. Sometimes I keep it, sometimes it looks like a nice little sort of jewel piece on the forehead or, or something. So here's our, our shape, this is where we're at now. So now I'm going to put my fingers in and sort of hold the whole thing together at the brow there and the nose and pull this apart so the creases stay together. And now like the tube's already starting to get soft just from bending. It gets easier and easier as you go along. Like you've got to be careful but it just sort of softens up. So let's try and do something crazy with the mouth here. So I'm going to do a short nose so I've got more space to work with with the mouth. So what I do here is again two fingers inside, pinching at the brow and the nose just to keep all those creases in place. And I'm just going to push with my thumb and my finger and just push all of this inwards. You can see that's a bit of a mess there, so it's not working out too well. Pull it back out, get the crease back up again, try again. Hold it together. Let's push it in. I'm, like the, I'm, I'm not worried about the crease unfolding at the bottom here, because I don't want that there in the, the end anyway. Well, at least not in this one, I'm not going to have it there. So I'm just pushing it in there. And at this stage, I'm going to do like some ripples with the mouth, so it's like an inset lip. That's what I'm going to do on this one. So a bit like this lip here, you see on this one. So now that this bit's sort of pushed in there, I'm going to start to pull it back out and do a crease outwards instead. Now this I try, if, if you keep this a short sort of valley there, you have more room to keep playing with the mouth more. But if you have a deep valley there, you end up with less roll left to, to play with. It depends on what, what you want to do. So I just make it up as I go along, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to just bend all of this around with that crease that I've made. Push some of this in there. As you can see, I'm just being quite forceful with it. The whole thing just sort of bends to your will if you, if you practice a bit. This is where we're at. See. So now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to take my fingers inside, hold this crease at the nose. The nose always tries to come apart. Sometimes it does. This one's not working out too well on the nose, but it eh, doesn't really matter. So let's push all of this in again. I've got my fingers inside here holding it. I don't know if you can see that. I can't really see what I'm doing on the camera. But, um, yeah, I'll just push this back in. Sometimes you've just got to soften it a bit. Just pressing on it a bit softens it. So I'm just going to push that back in there. And we could leave that top lip like that if we wanted to. That could be like the top of the mouth there. Or if we wanted to, do, we could do it again and have like a, a sort of triple lip going on. So I'll get this bit that's tucked inside and bring it back out again. Now you can see here this card, well, this roll's starting to come apart here. In bits like this, it gets soft. That's where it's most likely to tear. But if you just sort of try and keep it together the best you can, it should be fine. So I'm going to fold this back out again. There's a lot of sort of pushing and pulling at the same time. Pushing on one area, pulling on another area, twisting it. A lot of sort of twisting rather than folding. So it's always pressed up against something. No open air folding. You always like have something behind it as you're bending the cardboard. Don't give it chance to tear basically. Hold it, reinforce it with your fingers and don't give it a chance to tear. Okay, so this is what I've got going on now. Now, I never like leaving these open edges of the roll. So I'm going to do one last tuck here. Just the edge of the roll there. I'm going to just crease it in. Just to give it a sort of rounder finish at the end of it all. Mm -mm -mm. 
Mm. And I'm just sort of doing it on the edge there. It's, it's coming back to the edge of the, edge of the roll here. But, but as you can see, it gives a bit more of a, a rounded edge here. And now you've got to decide how we want to do the rest of the mouth. There's a couple of ways you can sort of go from here. Well, there's probably infinite ways, really. And this is what I've figured out so far. But uh, if I take these and pinch them inwards like this, you can sort of tuck these in. And as you tuck it in, the bottom of the mouth sort of starts to come together. And I can take this and then push it in and bring this bit up like this. See, these go in, you end up with like these bits at the, the edge of the lips, the cheeks or whatever you want to call them, the dimples. And I just push this in there. And then let's see about the bottom of the mouth. So get this into whatever shape you want, basically. Um, you know, I could call it finished there, but I, I hate leaving this sharp edge. So before I fold that, in, I'm going to just do a tiny little crease on the end and this is you know this is just what I like to do I've never really taught me how to do this I've just been bending toilet rolls for a while I, I saw that video by junior Jack Fritz, Fritz, Fritz I forget his name but that guy makes ones that I don't know how he makes those uh, I have no idea um, they, I think his look cooler than mine do, but mine have definitely evolved through time. I've made some better ones, I've made some worse ones. I've got a bag full of them here. Um, whenever I go to a friend's house and there's a toilet roll lying around, I bend it into something and leave it hidden somewhere in the bathroom or something. <laughs> and here I'm just, I've got my fingers inside always and I'm just creasing all of this together. So that's pretty much done now. Finally, what I do is just get all these nice creases all nice and sharp to hide any rough edges. As you can see, like, mouth looks a bit rounder here. The nose is a bit of a mess here, so we could maybe just give it a bit of a, a pinch. A bit of a pinch. And we've got a bit of space to work with here. So if we get the brow and get underneath the nose and just push it in a bit, we can give a bit more sort of depth to the nose. And then the same with the brow, you sort of pull it out a little bit and push in and the uh, the initial side folds, the creases, you want to sort of start rounding those off a little bit. See how it goes. Maybe you want it flat, maybe you want it round, maybe however you like. I'm going to do this one a little bit rounder. Oh. I'm just going to push aside. You can see I just squish the whole thing together. Let's just to see how it comes out. The whole thing's very flimsy now, look. The, the whole, whole tube's got very flimsy. And yeah, that's pretty pretty much done. Now that I've got this this thing on the forehead here, I can I could you know you can you can flatten that out if you want or you can leave it. I'll leave it half the time. Sometimes it just sort of flat, flattens out by itself just as you're going. But yeah, there we go. Uh, that's, you know, very similar to this one. It's got a nice fat nose on it. It's the same kind of thing, but a, a much thinner nose. What else have we got in here? I've got some crazy ones. Uh, here's, here's one where I did a crazy thing with the lip. There's another golden one here like that. Um, I've just folded it differently, but as you can see, I'm just very forceful with the tube. This one's got a lot of crazy layers going to it. What else have we got? This one's pretty interesting. Inwards nose, nose instead. Now these sort of unfold a bit through time. Sometimes they've been sat in this bag, some of these for years, so. What else have we got? Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
these gold ones, I, I've had some gold paint when I was in Thailand, so I, I painted some of them. Mm -hmm. Most of them sort of come out looking kind of the same. Yeah. The nose on this one's a bit different, but... Mm. Right, this one's good. That's got a lot of folds going on to it. I like that. But the same thing, I would have done the nose first and then just done several creases for the brow and pushed it in and pulled it out. And as you can see, like it's not it's not very deep folds. And that's it. I hope this is a bit more helpful to you all. I hope maybe Google actually promotes it. Um, like, subscribe, blah, blah, yada, yada. Maybe one day I'll get some money for doing this. Oh, look at that mess. And that's about that.